unit vectors are a useful way of representing the direction of vectors. Before proceeding, it may be helpful to review the definition of vectors and the use of vector components. Afterwards, practice the use of unit vectors in vector addition. In a previous video, you have learned how to represent a vector in component form in Cartesian coordinates. The total vector was the vector sum of its components represented in magnitude form. We will now separate out the directionality of these components. The word unit means one. A unit vector has a magnitude of one and it has a direction. Because it is not fixed to a quantity by either magnitude or units, it will give only the direction. Hence, it can represent a vector when multiplied by its magnitude because the magnitude will be a scalar multiplication only. For vector component representation, now you can separate out the magnitude of each component from their direction. The letters I and J are commonly used to represent the direction in the X and Y direction respectively. Previously, when you've learned about adding vectors by components, you set up two equations for the two directions. In unit vector form, you still keep the directions separate, but you can combine the two equations, keeping track of the i and j components at the same time.
make sure that throughout you remember that this is a vector sum. You cannot algebraically add together the magnitudes only. The final result of the sum will still be a vector with i and j components.